When you've been here this long, nothing and everything makes sense. There are times when I'm walking in a forest trail alone by myself. And it gets to the point where I'm so alone that there's no one to see me and I can't see anyone else. So something happens to me in that second and I disappear. No one will be a witness to what has happened. And then when I'm walking down that forest trail alone, remote, deep, deep into the forest, deep into the woods, Sometimes it feels like the trees are talking to me. My mind starts to wander. I'm completely sober. I'm not on drugs. I'm not drinking. Certain thoughts get pushed into my head. And I wonder where these come from. As I'm walking alone in the forest. With no reason either. I shouldn't even be there at that time of the day or time of the night. I'm just there in nature. But the fact of nature is Mother Nature is neutral. It doesn't care about you and it doesn't like you. It's just neutral. It doesn't hate you or it doesn't like you. It's just neutral. So sometimes when I'm walking, I wish a certain event would happen. A reoccurring thought is I'm walking in the forest and a portal opens with no one around. Just me, a portal. An alien or an entity comes out of that portal and asks me a question and says, Would you like to step in? the portal see what the mystery is all about see what life is actually really all about and then I answer yes of course who wouldn't who would say no to mystery who would say no to the truth yes but then that alien says <clears throat> under one condition you can never come back here and if you go now, no one will know what happened to you. No one will know. You're here alone in the woods. You, me, a portal. You come now, and you're never going to come back. And no one's ever going to know what happened to you. Not your mom, not your dad, not your siblings, not your wife or girlfriend, not even your kids. Not even your dog or your cat. I'd still say yes. Get me out of here. I want to see what it's really about. I want to see what's really out there. And don't any of you lie. You would do the exact same thing. Even if you do have your kids. You do have a wife. You do have a mom and dad or siblings and family. Don't lie. You would step into that portal too. Because where we are now, I've seen it all. What else is there? Knowing there's another 50 years of this same thing? Not being able to really see what this life is supposed to be about <laughs> but then when I step into that portal he says to me and warns me first we don't know where this is going to go it could be good it could be lovely it could be horrific it could be nightmarish. Are you still up for the challenge? I would still say yes. Anything to get me out of this place. 
I'd rather live in a state of nonstop adrenaline rush in a heightened sense of awareness living in the present every second constantly talking to my own conscious instead of this who wouldn't We already know our own fate on here. We know what it is. And deep down inside, we know we can't change it. So then why do you think some people do what they do in this world? Horrific things. Why do some people become serial killers? Why do some people do mass shootings? And they have no reason to when they investigate it. There's no reason. They just do it. It's for this very same reason. Because the current state we're in, there's nothing to it. It's the void. People say after we're done, we're gone, heaven or hell. I say this is hell. In this current state. There's always a place for your mind to wander. Can it get there? No. Drastic changes need to be made first before your mind can get to that state. <clears throat> so that's why I walk through these woods alone during the night, darkest and oddest times. You walk alone. You let different thoughts get into your head. Of what else there could be. Of a possibility. Of a dimensional shift as you're walking. You do see that portal open up. You walk toward it ask you that question come now and never return and no one knows what happens I would go and so would all of you I would do it without hesitation I encourage it to happen maybe one of these days the portal will open And I walk in and I see my own, I see myself, a vision of myself in the portal. Two visions. One vision, eternal bliss. Living in the moment. Love, happiness flying through the sky, through the stars. The other vision, nightmarish. Every second I fight. Every second something's trying to destroy me and take my soul. 50-50 chance. Would I go? Yes. Because the slow kill we have on here is even worse. All the possibilities there could have been and my soul chose this. Something needs to happen. Something needs to change. Should I take it into my own hands? Maybe. 
Otherwise, I might be waiting here forever in a constant loop until the upper force waits for you to change something. One of the worst results on here would be reincarnation, wouldn't it? I wouldn't wish that upon anyone in this current state. Sometimes that portal is the only hope we have. <laughs>